Hi guys, in this episode we're going to be fishing in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Home of the catfish the size of small trucks, right? Well, I don't catch one that big in this video. Matter of fact, I don't catch one at all. This is a story about the catfish that got away. So this fishing trip is taking place Memorial Day weekend. Not the ideal type of fishing time for me. So my nephew and I were setting jug lines out. Tail part. Because the tail's like a delicacy for those catfish. They're like, ooh doggy, I'm hungry. I wasn't exactly going for a ton of fish because of the busy waters. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! So I just wanted to go out and set a quick four lines and come back in, let them soak overnight. Where are there two heads? Because I cut multiple fish up. Uh-oh. The next morning, I get up real early, I get up at 6 a.m., get out in the water, and I can see the very first jug, and I can tell that there's a fish on right away. I went to check it, and it's a decent sized fish, but it looks like it's going to be in the slot limit where I have to throw back. The next jug line I came on, and the next cove over, was flats. The following jug line was barely above the surface. So we know that's a good sized cat right there. The moment I pick up the jug, the fish jerks the noodle right out of my hands. So I'm thinking it's gonna, it's gotta be a good sized cat. I'll go and check the last jug and there's nothing on there. So I figure before I go get the net, I'm gonna go see how big this catfish is. As soon as I throw the line over, the catfish just drags the noodle underwater and it keeps going and going and going until you can't see the noodle anymore. Went and got the net, went and released the one catfish that I knew was in the slot limit, came back over to the cove, couldn't see the noodle at all. So what I do for the next 24 hours is go in and check out the cove, the docks, neighboring coves, the main channel, and this, this fish is just gone. 
I don't know what happened to it. I don't like to think that that fish got tangled up underwater and it's stuck under there. But that can happen when you do jug lines. This is it. I can't find him. He's gone. The only thought that kind of made me feel better was maybe someone saw that noodle and wanted to fish fry them for themselves, so they took it. I would be happy with that, but I can tell you next time I will be more prepared for these catfish.